Protect your online privacy today at expressvpn.com slash inside. Hey everybody and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Wednesday. Happy Hump Day. HHD. Huh. Patrick? Huh. It's gonna be that kind of show. That was all arms. And that's uh-huh. how it's done. It's how it can be done. Anyway, that was a hump for a new Pokemon game. Usually that's cause for a celebration, right? Uh, hmm. Let's pump the brakes on that. Uh, Not so happy today. The Pokemon Company rolled out the latest game in the franchise, and it's going in a very, very different direction. And fans, not happy, as you can probably gather by the title of this video and all of us humming like that. But we'll get to all that juicy pokey drama later. We promise. It's not a threat. It's a promise, yeah. Uh, First up, get ready for the first Pokemoba. It's called Pokemon Unite, and it's a 5v5 team battler pitting two squads against each other. It's a MOBA. You know what a MOBA is. You probably don't play them, but you know what they are. You you tried them in 2012, decided it wasn't for you, and you moved on. <laughs> yeah. So who cooked up this abomination? Well, it won't surprise you to learn that Tencent was involved. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet, now we can see Pikachu zap protesters in Hong Kong and Great. take away their free speech rights. Yep. Yeah, the game is a result of a partnership between Pokemon and the Chinese Megacorp Tencent, which of course has its fingers in basically every video game pie. You every, know it, we know it, we all know it. Every single one. It's We've insane. covered it yeah. again and again and again and again and again and again. The two sides announced last year that they were partnering up to make games, so it shouldn't come as a big surprise that they'd be working on a MOBA. The game is being developed by Timmy Studios, which has a long history of developing developing mobile MOBAs like Arena of Valor and Honor of Kings, uh, which, uh, which sound great. I bet they're really good games. Yeah, you can rest assured that you can look from the top down and there would be a bunch of different things happening on two sides of the screen. So they've done this thing before, right, Brian? This is pretty much their specialty. This is this is what they do. It's And now they're just gonna feed Pokemon into the machine and Timmy Studios is gonna spit out a monetized free to play nightmare. The mechanics of Pokemon Unite, they differ somewhat from a traditional MOBA. Uh, And and by that, I mean not that much. Uh, There's a map divided into two sides for each squad. Each side has five goals where you can score points, as opposed to something like destroying the opposing team's nexus. So it's a lot more scoring. I I don't know, maybe it's they wanted to differentiate it just a little bit. Yeah, your Pokemon can level up during the match and learn new moves. Each Pokemon can also learn special Unite moves, which do big damage. During a demonstration, match we got to see a lot of the gameplay everyone picks a pokemon and then rushes to score goals and attack the other squad the team with the most points at the end of it all is the winner novel idea very standard moba stuff although the goal scoring mechanic is different from games like league of legends which coincidentally tencent also owns uh, i think they're a hundred percent owners of riot games uh-huh they do just yeah. own it yeah. straight up yeah it's, it's billed as a free to start game free to start that's interesting game for switch android and ios but we're sure they will stuff it chock full of my microtransactions. A beautiful shepherd's pie of uh, microtransactions. Uh, yes, yeah, this game is going to be the definition of 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag. <laughs> yeah. There's no release date yet. I know you're bummed to hear that, mm. but there's obviously a playable version already because they played it. Uh, and again, Timmy Studios, uh, they've made this kind of game before. We'll probably see a release sooner rather than later. I'm, I'm sure they just reskinned the characters as, po- as Gen 1 Pokemon and said, here you go. It's definitely a move by 10 and the Pokemon Company to get a piece of that MOBA pie and turn Pokemon into more of an eSport. While MOBAs might not be as trendy as they used to be, League of Legends still has a lot of players and is consistently one of the most popular games on Twitch. And like we said, Tencent owns Riot Games, which makes League of Legends. Uh, Interestingly, Riot is also making a mobile version of League called Wild Rift that's supposed to release later this year. Seems like they could have just put League on mobile. That's the thing, that's an interesting thing is that Tencent tried to force Riot to make a mobile version of League of Legends, they said no, and then Tencent was like, all right. And then they made this uh, Arena of Valor game, which is just a mobile reskin of League of Legends. Why wouldn't they just make a mobile league? That seems so easy. Like, phones are probably more powerful than the original PCs that League was built on. So Tencent's competing with itself a bit. Nothing new there. When you own everything, it's kind of hard to avoid it, and maybe a little beneficial to them. All right, so that was what was announced today in the Pokemon universe. Well, how did this go over? Well, if you've been on the internet today, you probably know the answer. Not great at all. Fans were Pokemon United against this game. I don't know who created Pokemon Go. Nice. That's good. Pokemon Go to the polls. Cool, cool, cool. 
I know y'all are making fun of me, but I did like it. We'll get into everyone's deep disappointment, but first, you know what won't disappoint you? ExpressVPN. Thanks for keeping our show afloat, ExpressVPN. Today's episode of Inside Gaming Daily is brought to you by ExpressVPN. You running out of good shows to binge watch? Huh? Fix that. Change your location so you can watch shows and movies that are not available in your country on Netflix, BBC iPlayer, a bunch of other streaming services. ExpressVPN helps keep your private information private. So, I mean, we're all working from home now. We're all online. 24 seven, you're giving advertisers and your internet service providers even more opportunities to gather information about you. Think about like all the confidential information you handle from home, work stuff, personal stuff, everything, online shopping, all that stuff. There's always some kind of personal information you're putting in, whether it's credit cards, addresses, all that stuff. Without the supervision of your IT department, misconfigurations on your device or a malware infected router could put your data at risk of being stolen by hackers. ExpressVPN ensures that 100% of the data being transferred between your devices and the internet is encrypted. So it's keeping you safe. It's also great if you're on an unencrypted Wi-Fi network, you know, public networks, hotels, coffee shops, all that kind of stuff. Uh, even, even at home though, you know, you're still at risk. A hacker connected to the same unencrypted Wi-Fi network can steal your personal information very easily. The only basic computer knowledge the hacker could gain access to your passwords, financial details, even your emails. Like we said, ExpressVPN encrypts your internet connection using the highest standards of encryption currently available. Take a hacker with a supercomputer billions of years to crack. Uh, I'm interested in seeing that though now. US ISPs can legally sell your data to ad companies, so I mean that's that sucks. UK and Australian ISPs are required to keep logs of the websites you visit, the apps you use, and the private conversations you have for one to two years. ExpressVPN puts a stop to all of that by encrypting all your data and hiding your location. They usually think I'm in uh, Nevada. Find out how you can get three months free by clicking the link in the description below. That's expressvpn.com slash inside. So if you go to expressvpn.com slash inside, find out how you can get three months free. Thank you, ExpressVPN, for sponsoring the show. All right, so let's get into audience reaction to the new Pokemon announcement. First off, this was funny. Lots of people were just mad that they woke up early to watch this. Yeah, I saw a lot <laughs> of that. That's a lot of it. And this particular Pokemon Presents had been hyped up for a whole week. Uh, that led people to think we were going to get a big announcement, like a fourth gen remake, something. It's something a little more substantial than what we got. Diamond and Pearl was trending all morning on Twitter as fans bemoaned the fact that we didn't get a remake. But uh, nope, it's a MOBA. The announcement trailer on YouTube has already been downvoted to oblivion as commenters let the Pokemon company have it with both barrels. As They're one commenter happy. put it, I was honestly happier about that toothbrushing app. At least they included <laughs> it among other announcements and didn't hype us up for a week. Also, it's awesome. Well, even still, it felt like a lot of hype for a free-to-play MOBA. More than just one person made the observation that they should have just lumped this game in with the others during last week's presentation. Uh, it did feel a little blizzardish the way they got everyone hyped up for a big Diablo announcement a few years ago, only to let everyone down with a mobile game. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, yeah. and that's because mobile and free-to-play games tend to have a reputation as being money grab and overly monetized. That's because they are. They might make a developer a lot of money, but they don't have a great reputation with players for very good reason. But the Pokemon company clearly decided, screw it, we need a few more billion, let's do this. Let's just cash in the old reputation. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Over on the Pokemon subreddit, the front page was full of posts with disappointed fans. It was just line after line of, oh, I'm, I'm sure. so sad, I feel let down. <laughs> One of the most yep. popular was from Yummy Yum Yum 123 who wrote, today's announcement wasn't bad or anything, but I feel like this is going to end up being another one of their free-to-play games that ends up with shutdown servers from lack of interest. They're so desperate in finding the next Pokemon Go, they just slap their franchise on anything. Yeah, I mean, Pokemon's definitely been upping their free-to-play offerings ever since Pokemon Go became a global sensation. So yummy yum yum one two three is right. They do still seem to be kind of chasing that dragon. Recently, it's been a busy couple of weeks for Pokemon, with the first DLC for Sword and Shield releasing, plus announcements of new games like the revival of Pokemon Snap and the puzzle game Pokemon Cafe Mix, which just released on the eShop. So yeah, they're obviously opening up the pipeline of games, and this isn't just Game Freak doing it. They're partnering with a lot of different developers to use the Pokemon IP. Still though, it's rare for a Pokemon game to have this level of backlash. There has been some, Sword and Shield certainly got some hate for a number of reasons, but those games still sold incredibly well. And everyone now is Sword and Shield not looking that bad in hindsight. But yeah, Sword and Shield still sold well. They sold more than 17 million units combined. That's better than all the 3DS Pokemon games, most of the DS games, so it did fine. Pokemon might be getting old as a franchise, but it's about as close to a guaranteed bestseller as there <laughs> is in gaming. And when it comes to Pokemon, you- Pikachu! Uh-huh. 
Pikachu. Do you want to do any other ones? Gyarados. And when it comes to Pokemon Unite, Pokemon obviously has their sights set on one market in particular. Care to take a guess? North Korea. Pe Left-handed uh, people. It's China. <laughs> it's China. Yeah, the partnership with Tencent automatically gets them a foothold into the extremely lucrative market for this game. Oh, and Tencent uh, is bringing the Switch into China, too. They, they buddied up with Nintendo, so no matter how much people complain about Pokemon Unite, it doesn't matter. It's almost certainly going to make a bunch of money and get played all over the world. All right. Well, do we do we have to make a like a funny goof goof to end this off? Um, uh, um. Pokemon go to the polls. Hey everybody and welcome back to Inside Gaming Daily for Thursday. Yeah. Oh, oh, there, you know, no, no, no. It's, uh, I don't know, something that starts nothing. with TH no. Thursday, for Thursday. Autumn is trying to write this, this joke and her brain is the... on fire. So everybody cozy up and let's talk about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Rescue Team DX. Uh, <laughs> 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 